Hey everybody, my name is Forrest, and today we are gonna look at the quickest and easiest way to wirelessly transfer your photographs from your smartphone into Lightroom Classic. Now, a couple quick disclaimers before we dive in. Number one, I said Lightroom Classic. If you're a Lightroom user, there are other ways to get images from your smartphone into Lightroom that are actually a little bit easier. But if you use Lightroom Classic, which I know a lot of our audience does, this video is for you. Secondly, I am using iOS 18 and Lightroom Classic version 14 for this video. Video. So at time of recording, those are the newest versions, but if you're watching this five years from now, the process may have changed a little bit. Lastly, I highly recommend you stick through to the end of the video, because at the very end, I'm gonna be sharing a tip that will help automate some of this process and allow you to transfer images from phone to Lightroom Classic even faster. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is make sure that the Lightroom app is installed and updated on your smartphone. Now this should work on Android or iOS, but be sure that you're running the newest version version of Lightroom. Once you get the app downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to open the Lightroom app and be sure that you're signed in with your Adobe account. You can check your sign in up here in the upper right by going to the dot, 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 going to app settings, and then lastly, ensuring up here at the top that your account is signed in with the correct email address. Now, once we're signed in, we're gonna to wanna to go at the bottom of our screen to the Lightroom button. The way the Lightroom app works is it can actually browse images on your phone, that's what the device button is for, or the Lightroom cloud, and that's what the Lightroom button is for. We wanna to go to the Lightroom button. Now, do note that you may actually see some pictures here automatically. You can see mine's empty, there's nothing here. I, I made this account for the purposes of teaching that for this video, but it, you may have used Lightroom a couple years ago and not really remembered it. Maybe you imported a few photos, but primarily Primarily you use Lightroom Classic. Long story short, whatever you see in the Lightroom tab, that is gonna get synced to Lightroom Classic with this process. So you may wanna delete out what's there, assuming you have it elsewhere, obviously backed up and safe. But do note that when we turn on the sync, whatever is in here in the Lightroom tab is gonna be synced into Lightroom Classic. Now, once we've got our phone configured properly, it's time to go into Lightroom Classic and do a bit of configuration here. What I'm gonna do is go to, on a Mac, Lightroom Classic, and then Preferences. On a PC, you would go to Edit Preferences. And in the Preference window, we're gonna wanna go over to the Lightroom Sync tab and change a couple of things in here. Now, first off, do make sure that your Adobe ID is signed into the same account that you just signed your phone into. We need a match between the two accounts in order for the two devices to talk to one another. Then what we wanna do is come down to the location section and we wanna turn on specify location for Lightroom's synced images. This is basically telling Lightroom Classic where we want to put our images that sync from Lightroom. So the way that this flow is gonna go, we're gonna take images from our phone, we're gonna put them into Lightroom. Lightroom is gonna upload those images to the Adobe servers, which then Lightroom Classic is gonna download those photos to our local computer. So it goes phone to Lightroom, to Adobe servers, and finally to Lightroom Classic. And the process is actually really fast. It's super cool, we'll see it in a minute. Now, for most folks, what I recommend you do is set up a new folder on whatever drive you store your main Lightroom image library, and you call it maybe Lightroom image library phone or something similar to that. Additionally, you could just set it to the main folder that you put all of your Lightroom Classic photos. That's fine too, but you may wanna add a little bit more organization. What I'm gonna do is go to the Choose button over here, and then I'm gonna go to my main photo drive. That's where I store all of my catalog and photo information. And you can see my photos go here folder is where I choose to store all of my DSLR and mirrorless camera photos. I don't wanna mix my phone images in with those. So what I'm gonna do is create a new folder and I'm gonna call this photos go here dash phone so that I have a separate main parent folder for all of my phone photos to go into. Again, this is totally up to you. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but I like a little bit of separation between the phone images and the other stuff. So there we go, I've got my photos go here. That's where my main image library is. That's where I import my pictures from DSLR or mirrorless camera. And now I've got photos go here phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and click choose. Now the other thing that I wanna do is say, use subfolders formatted by capture date, and I'm gonna change it to the year 
dash year dash month dash day, which is the same folder structure I use when I'm importing new photographs into Lightroom Classic from my DSLR or mirrorless camera. So I, I wanna simplify this. Essentially, we're just telling Lightroom Classic, hey, when there are photos on the cloud that you're gonna download, again, those photos got there from our phone, I want you to put all of those images that you download off the cloud into my main photo drive, into my photos go here phone folder, and I want you to break them up by the date that they were taken. So essentially doing the exact same thing that I do when I'm importing from a memory card, except it's doing it from my phone. It's pretty sweet. All right, once we have that set, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of my Lightroom preferences. All right, from here, I'm gonna go up to the cloud in the upper right-hand corner of Lightroom Classic. I'm gonna click up on that cloud and I'm gonna hit the Start Syncing button. Now, you may get a little note that you can only sync one Lightroom Classic catalog at a time with the cloud. And that's kind of a, a, a signifier that you have multiple Lightroom catalogs. Now, this gets a little bit beyond the scope of this video, but essentially only one Lightroom Classic catalog can sync with Lightroom with Adobe's cloud at a time. So in this case, I only have one Lightroom Classic catalog, so it's easy for me. This is my Lightroom Classic catalog. This is the one I wanna sync with the cloud. But again, this may be a little bit different depending on your personal situation. If you've learned something already in this video, I would love you to hit the like button down there in the corner, hit subscribe to stay up to date with future videos. And if you have a question already, let me know down in the comments. All right, it's time to actually watch the magic happen. So what you're gonna wanna do is open up the Lightroom app on your phone. You're gonna wanna go to the Lightroom tab at the bottom, and you're gonna wanna hit this little add photos button in the lower right hand corner. Once you tap this button, we're gonna go to device, and it's gonna ask us which photos from our phone would we like to import into Lightroom. Again, it's not through to Lightroom Classic yet, that's gotta happen through the cloud, which is just saying, hey, here are the photos on your phone, which ones of these do you want to bring into Lightroom? Now, what I recommend is before you start doing this, maybe make a new album on your phone of all the pictures you wanna import into Lightroom, and then it make it a little bit easier. I will say that if you do that, at the top here, I can tap on device, I can scroll down and here are all of my albums. And you can see I've already made an album called Import to Lightroom Classic. And in here I've put 16 pictures that I would like to import into Lightroom and then thereby get them into Lightroom Classic. So I have my images here. You could just select one at a time, whatever images you wanna bring in, or there's the dot, dot, dot in the upper right and you can say select all. That will select all of the pictures. As soon as you have that set, you've selected one, two, maybe just select you know 10 or 15 the first time to make sure the process works. I'm gonna go ahead and tap add. Now what this is doing is it's taking the photos from your camera roll, from your photos app, whatever you wanna call it, and it's bringing them into the Lightroom app on your phone. That'll happen fairly quickly. As soon as that happens, they will also start to get synced up to the Adobe servers. And the way we can track this is with the cloud icon in the upper right. We can see here it says uploading 15 pending. It's working on uploading all 16 of these photos. We can see 13 pending, 10 pending. It's cruising through and again, it's pushing these photos up to Adobe's servers. Now at the same time, we can go in Lightroom Classic and we can click on the cloud icon in Lightroom Classic. And we should notice after a couple minutes, it will notice that there are new things on the Adobe cloud. So here my phone has finished, it says synced and backed up. Synced and backed up just means, hey, the photos are here on my phone and they are also in the cloud. They are on Adobe's servers. And finally here on my computer, we can see it says syncing 16 photos and now those photos are coming down from Adobe servers to my local machine. Now I wanna throw out there that this can happen in the background, right? We can be using Lightroom for anything else, using Lightroom Classic for anything else at the time, and this download will happen automatically behind the scenes. So you don't have to sit here and kind of wait for it to go. By the way, if storing images in the cloud is interesting to you and you kinda of wanna move away from external hard drives and backups and all of that kind of stuff, you should definitely check out the link to my Mastering Lightroom Organization course linked in the description. It's a total, complete online course on how to know basically everything there is to know about the Lightroom desktop application and all of the organizational tools that it has to offer. 
All right, and the sync has completed. We see synced and backed up on my phone and we see synced here in Lightroom Classic. So that means everything has synced between the two programs. What I wanna do now is kind of show you what this did. So you'll notice over here in my folders panel, I have a bunch of brand new year, month, day folders. Now they don't by default come in under a year folder and I kind of like that. So if yours come in kind of loosely like this, what I like to do is right click on any one of those year, month, day folders and go to show parent folder. That'll show the folder above it. And then I'm actually gonna right click on 2024 and I'm gonna show that parent folder as well so that now I can see I have my photos go here folder. That's where all my DSLR and mirrorless camera photos are. And I have my photos go here phone, which is where all my synced phone photos are. Now here's the cool thing. Once a photo has been downloaded to your local copy of Lightroom Classic, it's not going to get deleted if you take it off of the cloud. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. We're going to do a whole section on cleanup, but I just want to draw attention to the fact that this is a true local copy. If I open Finder and we look at my main photo drive through Finder. So here's Finder. I'm going to go to my main photo drive. I have that folder that I set up earlier called Photos Go Here Phone. And if I open this up, there's my 2024 folder. There are all my day folders. And here are the photos that have synced down from Lightroom. They are locally stored, which means if I back up my main photo drive, all of these phone photos that synced down are also getting backed up. It truly integrates them with the traditional Lightroom Classic workflow. Okay, so at this point, I would back up. If I was actually trying to transfer images from my phone into Lightroom Classic and get them off of my phone in the long term, I would back up my main photo drive to my backup photo drive and finally to my off-site photo drive. I'd follow the three, two, one rule and I'd be sure that all of my images were safe and backed up. Once that's done though, I'm good to take these images off of the cloud. I don't need them in Adobe's cloud anymore because I'm just using that as a temporary between the two programs. So all you need to do to clean things up once you've backed up all of your external hard drives or internal hard drives is go to all synced photographs, go to edit, select all, that'll select the images that just synced, and then hit the delete key on the keyboard. And it's gonna tell you what it's gonna do. 16 photos will be removed from all synced collections and from Lightroom photos on Creative Cloud, but will not be deleted from the desktop catalog. It's exactly what we want. The images will be pulled off the cloud, meaning they won't take up our cloud storage, but they will remain on our local storage, in this case, on my main photo drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. And we can see all synced photos goes to zero. However, those 16 photos are still here locally. And just to prove that here I am on my phone in Lightroom and I can see if I tap on the Lightroom cloud at the bottom, it says no photos here. And again, that's because we just deleted them off the cloud because we've got them into our local storage. One optional final step is that once the images have been copied into Lightroom Classic, you could go back to your photos app on your phone and actually delete them off your phone. This would you know, clear up space on whatever cloud storage your phone is using. So if you wanna do that, you could simply open your photos app, go to whatever album you put the images in, and you could go to select, select all, trash, and I could hit delete. Now in this case, I do wanna actually keep these photos here, but if you're truly trying to move images from your phone into Lightroom Classic, that's how we could do it, and this would be the kind of complete way to do that, going full circle and removing them from our phone. So at the beginning of the video, I teased that I would show you a pro tip at the end that would make this process even easier. And this is that. Inside of the Lightroom app on your phone, there's actually a camera tool that I really like. If you open the Lightroom app and down in the bottom right, there is a little camera icon. If you tap on that, it's actually gonna open up the camera on your phone. Hey, look, there are you guys. Hey, there's me, woo, look at that. Uh, camera app on your phone. Well, this camera app, syncs directly with Lightroom and the cloud. So from now on, if you think like, oh, hey, I'm taking some phone photos. I didn't bring my camera today. I'm gonna shoot some re real pictures with my phone that I wanna get into Lightroom Classic. Well, if you're gonna
you're gonna do that, I would open the Lightroom app and use Lightroom's camera to take those photos. You have all kinds of controls. You have exposure controls, white balance controls. It still shoots raw. It's almost like the camera app just on your phone, except a lot of bonus features. And the advantage is it shoots directly to Lightroom's cloud, which means by the time you get home and you open up Lightroom Classic, you should already see those pictures imported as soon as the cloud downloads. So I kind of split things into two categories, right? If I'm taking like serious photos with my phone, I'll use the Lightroom camera app so that it makes my transition of getting those images into Lightroom Classic easier. Whereas if I'm just like doing snapshots around or you know taking like just fun photos, I'll just use the camera app that's built into my phone and I probably will never bring those images into Lightroom and into Lightroom Classic. All right, everybody, that sums up this video. If you would, please drop a like down below, hit subscribe to stay up to date with future videos, and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Be happy to answer those. I hope to catch you in a future video. Thanks, everybody.